What is up, you guys? Welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Best Shotgun Class, Episode 7. Uh, one more episode till I make, like, a finale or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but one more episode. Uh, having fun with the series. One of my favorite series I've done. Uh, promise you guys, I'm sorry. I haven't had any gameplay commentaries up, and I haven't even done my second shotgun rescue video. I really need to do that. That was... Uh, great i love doing shotgun videos shotgun it shotgunning is my channel but enough with that ah for my primary let's get started for my primary i have the s12 or the sega 12 uh with long barrel extended mag or clip and laser sight great great perk or attachments for this gun long barrel every single shotgun class should have this you should never be without it. It's always good to have increased range on a shotgun. Extended clip. This is a semi-automatic shotgun, so you need that, um, that, um, you need the ability, you need the, what's it called, what's the word? The, uh, option. You need the option of being able to keep firing without having to reload super fast. Like, say you have, like, six shots in this gun without it, well, now you have, like, eight or nine. And that's always better to have more ammo. And laser sight. Doesn't really help me out in the fact that I can see a laser pointing out of the wall, but it does help me out by uh, the accuracy in effect in the stats, because it does affect accuracy in the stats. For perk 1, lightweight, perfect for rushing. Shotgun classes are rushing classes in my opinion, and when you have lightweight on, it always helps you rush. Perk 2, scavenger. Scavenger, because you want to, even though you have extended mag on, you're still going to run out of ammo at a certain point in your game, and you're always going to want to have that option to get uh, more ammo. And perk three, tactical mask. I hate people who use char shock charges. I'm not being a hypocrite. I, I use them too, but I hate other people who do it. So that's why I have tactical mask on. I have it on most of my shotgun classes and most of any class that I really use. And for my lethal, C4. C4, always, I love it because it gives you the option of timing your uh, explosions or timing your kills. You don't have to wait for a grenade to explode. You can just pop this baby off anytime. Just quads. And my tactical, shock charge. Uh, shock charges, they're so dumb if you don't have tactical masks. They, they're they awesome, though, because you can see someone around a corner just pop it down and jump out once they're electrocuted. And they can't do shit. So it's always something good to have on. And for my wild card, primary gunfighter, something you need, I guess, on every single class, in my opinion. Awesome. And let's get on to my score streaks. <sighs> UAV. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Hunter Killer, Lightning Strike, and Dragon Fire. All awesome things. I usually run UAV, but uh, I guess today I want to throw on the Hunter Killer, because Hunter Killer is awesome. I love it because uh, I haven't gotten a have I gotten a quad? No, I haven't gotten a quad yet, but I'm going for one, and I really want to get that. Also, lightning strike. I love it's basically mortars except better, and I actually get kills with it. And the dragon fire because I can I can almost definitely confirm 13 kills. Not actually confirm, but actually get 13 kills with the dragon fire every time I call it out. I think that's it for this video, you guys. Promise I'll have some gameplay commentary tonight or tomorrow. Uh, posting probably a gameplay commentary every day for the next couple days. I'll try at least. I have some gameplay saved up. If you enjoyed this video and you uh, you want to try out these classes, please do. Please leave a like and subscribe. I think that's it, you guys. I will talk to you later.